versus Cloud, you know, that's definitely a matchup that I felt like the Cloud was going to win, but I was more interested in seeing if the Little Mac could win right there. But, you know, the Little Mac, unfortunately, you know, the Cloud had the best of them. Yeah. And uh, as far as Mewtwo and Luigi con was concerned, you know, it was definitely a close one, though. It looked like it could have been anyone's game, but right there, you know. Actually, no, wait, I did get... Uh, surprise, because I didn't think Luigi would win. Yeah, yes. that's the thing, because yeah. Mewtwo does win that matchup. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty universally agreed. It's not by too, too much, but Mewtwo has his advantages. Mm. At the same time, it's all about who shows up on that day. So who do you think is going to win this one? What's your take on this matchup? All right, so I'm going to have to say Alphakins is the favorite, because, as you know, he does have m more consistent results. Mm -hmm. At the same time, never underestimate a Ganon that has a stock advantage. All they need to do is go off stage and drag you down with that side beat. And yeah, yeah, Alphagans does not want to be caught in that situation. Oh, wow, Raycom, not quite calm right now. <laughs> actually showing his hand a little bit too early with that side beat. It's funny you say that because Raycom's actually one of those players. Like, in his tag, he's known for being very, very passive mm -hmm. and trying to read you pretty hard. Oh, I think that's a stock there. No double jump. And it, I'm wondering, like, you know how sometimes if you two-frame somebody, they have the opportunity to double jump again. Do you think he might have had it but didn't know? Probably. But yeah. at the same time, sometimes with uh, Alphakins is just really good. Like, down smash actually covers so much ground. True. And it's such a useful tool to edge guard a lot of characters, if, especially if they opt to recover low because basically covering out. That was a risky situation right there, but Alphakins makes it intact with the KO punch. Yeah. <laughs> I'm super surprised. I thought Raycom had a really good setup going for him right there. You know, he tried to mask what he was trying to do on the platform, fell right through and went for the up air, but still, Applicants, he basically recovered pretty deep. And now we have the waiting game between both players. Who's going to strike first? I mean, Ray is the one that's not in the lead, so that's probably why Applicants is like, I mean, if I'm winning, I could basically just wait here forever. Ooh, the one hitbox. But again, here's the thing. If your attack doesn't do, I think it's more than 2% or something around uh -huh. that, right? Down smash at the ledge is going to do it, but as I was saying, because KO Punch will get taken away if you do at least like 2% or more True. on a hit. If you don't hit that threshold, then you still keep KO Punch. I, also, I, I, I was wondering too, I also heard something about like if there was a move that puts you in tumble. Does that, but then again, not if you said 2% or more, not all moves that are 2% or more put yeah. you in tumble though, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. 1% is more like, uh, oh, this is just a flesh move. It's okay. Yep. That being said, uh, Raycom, definitely thinking a little bit long and hard about this counter pick. Definitely wants a stage with more cover. Mm -hmm. So Battlefield will, will be his usual choice right here. Here we go. The platforms, I feel like they're going to offer him a little bit more offensive options. At the same time, Little Max, from what I've heard from Frumpcakes at least, they've told me that they really actually enjoy Battlefield. Hmm. Little Max? Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought he was about to get the reverse hit of the down smash. Probably putting Raycom in another tough situation. Look at Alpha. I love how Alphakins like repositions himself on stage. Yeah. He's almost like a boxer, dude. Just just waiting, yeah, waiting for his opportunity to strike. His positioning has been really, really good. He's. And it always seems like he's just out of the way whenever Raycom tries to meet him. Always playing second best, but. And it, I think with a character like Little Mac, that can always be put in a situation where he has to get edge guarded. That's probably why he waits. You know. Yeah. Can't commit too hard. That's very true. And uh, Raycom opting to try and uh, trick him off stage. Does get the hitbox off the up B. Yeah, he definitely had to hold down for that one, huh? Yeah. Ooh, yeah but he's got to be careful with how he lands. Ganon is not a character that's great at that, but if you do catch your opponent uh, a little bit unaware with that down B. What I really liked about, oh my gosh, getting that forward kick, Sparta kick yeah. for the first stock. Oh, and this is exactly what Raycom wants to be in right now, this position. Oh, now yeah. He's at stock advantage. And even if he loses the stock here, all he has to do is just... Okay. Yeah, except for going off stage and then <laughs> re-grabbing the edge is probably not the best thing to do. Very so true. Alphakins with that down smash can definitely just thwart that attempt to camp at the edge. Yeah. And again, he's just content to keep him airborne with dash attacks. Okay. Try to get him on the regrab, but Alphakins right to him with that getup. Not letting him breathe. <gasps> oh, and Ganondorf wins! Oh. Speaking oh. of not letting him breathe. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Look at him, man. The beast is awakened. I don't think Alphagans is too happy about that one, dude. Shaking his head. Nope. He's like, I can't believe I got caught off guard, dude. Yeah, Alphagans was actually doing a pretty good job just keeping him off. 
And uh, that dash attack was pretty good, but again, his spacing here, probably not the best. Wow. Yep. That's all it takes. That's really all it takes. That that side B, that grab range, goes for goes for quite a while. And it does drag you down. Like it, it basically takes Ganon's position and just kind of like t pulls you back a little bit. Can't believe it, man. Sakurai yeah. knew what he was doing when he put that in the game. <laughs> it's like, well, you know, Ganondorf may not be the best character, but <laughs> try to try to attack him when he's like side being, dude. Stay near the edge, shield. You know, yep. you'll you'll be caught on unawares. Watch. Absolutely. Keep your eyes open. <laughs> Always keep both eyes on the road. Don't uh, don't get distracted on your cell phone or anything <laughs> like that. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <gasps> Real Raycom is fighting now, dude. Yeah. He's actually throwing out the hands. Yeah. At the same time, uh, he's got to be careful with how he places those hands because Alphakin's always ready to counterpunch. Oh, wow. Alphakin's probably trying to set up a roll, a forward roll maybe. Yeah. And he understands here. Now he's staying far away from the ledge. He's already been spooked before. True, true. That's the that's the knowledge setting in. Maybe a little bit of fear too. <gasps> oh, Ooh. my God. Down throw to up smash? That, that worked? Uh oh, he needs to try to get rid of that KO punch. Yeah. Alphakin's is looking. Tried a perfect pivot to uh, F-Tilt, but wasn't able to get it. Oh, man. Alpha definitely not as confident near the edge right now with these. <gasps> okay, he's not double rolling, double back rolling anymore. Okay. Ooh. Does catch him as bef right before he was going to throw out that side B. Nice. Managing to catch him with the up B again. Yeah. And oh. Rick Ray comes in getting that a lot more consistently, but jab to up B. Of course. You know, taking that stock right there. That jab comes out so quick with Little Mac. Oh, here's a setup. Just yeah. needs to take off that stock. That might be it. Yep. Drop wow. down there. Okay, Ray. Even game. This would be huge if he does this because this would be this would be his first big tournament win in a long time. For Ray Calm. Oh man, but that dash attack crossing him up right there. Yeah. Needs to keep his eyes open. Oh, that was a great setup by Alphakins. Not close enough, but definitely oh. put the fear in. Alphagans trying to stay calm here. Yeah. Okay, here it is. Here's the setup. Smart. He's yeah. like, okay, I, I saw that before, dude. <laughs> You're not going to hit me with that again. No. Yeah. This guy's not a fan of reruns. If he saw the show the first time, he's not going to tune in again. Exactly. You fool me once, shame on, shame on me. Or shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me. That's right. And right now his shield is looking so low that he had to retreat to the edge to let that thing regenerate. Uh-oh. Yo, these rolls. Okay, letting go shield there. Didn't want to... Take too much damage. Alphakin's really, really fighting for his space right here. Yup. Not content to give Raycom an inch. Doesn't want to overshoot things, though. Ooh. And Ray has some setups, it seems, with that wizard's foot, dude. Yeah. Especially as it ends right near the edge. Gets oh it my god! On the tech roll! That hitbox. Yeah. That's I don't insane. think he, I don't think he could shield anymore, man. What if Alphakin's goes for a KO punch? That's true. Oh! Okay. Both of them are, I, I feel like both of them are now playing a little bit uh, on on edge a bit, you know? Probably. This is last stock, game three, pretty much a last hit scenario for both characters. Africans yeah. look like he tried to get a two frame on an F tilt. Yeah. Didn't quite work out for him. Ray's looking. If you're watching this at home, deep breaths involved for whoever your favorite player is in this matchup. Oh, yeah, absolutely, dude. Oh, but oh. there's the up smash. Alpha Kid said, I'm not going to burn the KO punch. I'm yep. going to just use this to, you know, in incite fear, you know? Yeah. Instill the fear, actually, in the opponent. So it, that, it forces options, right? Yes. It's like, okay, here we go. I have the KO punch. You don't want to deal with this. You're probably going to roll a lot. You're going to jump. Yeah. So very smart decision. Going for that up smash. Really great anti-air for a little Mac. Yeah. Taking the game. Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe up next, we are going to see one of my favorites.